dice poker is pretty much like poker. So if you know how to play poker, you will pl be able to play this game, you know, easily. Um, and if not, it's not hard to, to, to learn. I didn't know how to play poker until I played this game, actually. So you, you wage, right? You bet either five uh, orins or ten orins. And I always do five because it seems like... Uh, it seems like the game gets a little bit harder, or your chances get, get a little bit lower when you bet more. That's that's the experience I've had, because I've done it a lot. So I usually go five. Um, they, they and, and then your opponent raises, you press uh, the green button. And you want to be really careful with rolling, because I, press, I did the wrong one. But your, the left joystick... Let me do that again. Well, I'll show you in a little bit. Um, I'll show you how what, what I was going to say about the left joystick. But, so, you see the red circle that's that's uh, circled around the dice? You can move that with your left joystick, uh, and the reason why you move it is if you want to re-roll one of these dice, you pl you press X, so it says select dice to re-roll. So you could, you could re-roll more than one dice. So you look at your hand, you've got a 1, a 2, a 2, a 6, and a 3. So, now think of, uh, I'll give you, if you don't know the hands for poker, I'll, I'll let you know the, the hands for poker, and I'll also put them in the description so they're easier to see. But right now, the, o the only thing that stands out that I could use is the double 2s. Because, um, let me give you the hands right now, actually. Five of a kind. Now I'm gonna go from best to lowest. Your best hands to the lowest hands. The best ca the best hand is five of a kind, which means if you get five of the same number, let's say I got five twos, that's it. That I won. You know, unless the other person got the same thing, which is usually not the case, you won. Uh, and then there's the royal straight flush, which is like let's say a one two three four five or two three four five six. So you know consecutive numbers that go in order uh and then there's the four of a kind which is four of any number so let's say you got four twos that's four of a kind doesn't matter what the fifth one is and then there's a full house which is three of one number and two of another uh so you could have three twos and two fours you got a full house three of a kind is three of any number so three twos, doesn't matter what the other two are. And then two pair is just two match sets of numbers. So let's say a two two and a three three. And it doesn't matter what the fifth one is. Uh, so two two matches or two pairs. Um, and then one pair, one pair of any number. So right now I have a one pair, but that's your, that's your lowest hand. You can look at what he has. He has, um, it's kind of hard to see the numbers. But the star is a five, uh, and he's got a one, two, a four, and two fives. So he doesn't. He just has a two pair, or I mean, he has a uh, he has a one pair like I do. Now, what I want to do is, since I have a, lo a low hand, um, and he does too, he's probably going to re-roll as well. I usually, when I have a one pair, when I have one, you know, a set of one pair. Uh, I usually re-roll the numbers that aren't a pair. So, like, the one, put X, that's, you're, you're selecting that dice to re-roll, to re-roll, and then this one, and this one. So I'm going to re-roll these in hopes of either getting a two pair, or maybe getting, like, a, um, like a four of a kind, maybe, or even a full house, or three of a kind. Uh, so, and then once you have your dice selected that you want to re-roll, you could re-roll the whole set, the whole, all the dices, um, or all the die, I'm sorry, and then just press A to re-roll. And then your, your opponent's going to decide what they're going to do. Press A again, press A again, and then here's what I was going to talk about. Oh, jeez, I keep on pushing the wrong button. The right, the right stick, the right joystick is to roll. Okay, I lost and the reason why I lost was because he got... Damn, I got a really bad... No, I got a... Um, I have a two pair. And he got... Uh, one, two, three. He's got three fives. So he's got... 
You could pretty much challenge a lot of people in rolling dice. Almost everybody that you could get into dialogue with. Okay, so the left joystick moves the dice or the die around the board. Um, you want to be very, very careful when rolling the die with the with. All you have to do is just slightly tap the right joystick, just slightly, either left, right, up, or down. But do it very lightly because if you don't, if you do it hard, if you just go whack, um, some of the dice can fall off the board and then you're screwed. You pretty much lost that round. So you want to just lightly t tap it and you can move it wherever you want to on the board with the left joystick. Um, so again, I've got, oh nice, I've got three threes. Yes, I've got, I've got a full house. Uh, so I, I, I think I want to keep this. What's he got? He's got one, two, yeah, he's got squat. He might roll that six, just in hopes of getting a three. If he get a three, if he got a three, if he did roll that six and he got a three, he would win me because I just have a full house and he'd have a royal straight, a royal, st a flush, a royal straight flush. So, um... Let's keep this hand. If you want to keep your hand, you just press A. You don't press any any X or anything. Just press A. You're set. Do this again. Hopefully I win. He resigned. Okay, yeah, because he, he wasn't going to get squat. It would be really, really... It'd be a lot of luck if he rolled that six and got a three. So, um... So this is all based on luck, really. So this is the cheapest. Um... If you want to make money... You don't make a lot of money out of dice, and it's it's based off luck. So you never really know if you're gonna if you're gonna get a winning streak or not. If you want to make a lot of money out of these little mini games, you want to do arm wrestling. Um, fighting could get you a good amount, but I do arm wrestling just because. Uh, in the missions, there's like little side quests for these mini games, like I was saying, and when you have to beat like a certain amount of people in dice and then you have to beat a certain amount of people in fist fighting and in arm wrestling and the your last opponent in those mini games you get more money like they'll bet they'll bet more money because they're usually a little bit harder um in this in this uh area the side quest for the arm wrestling the last guy just that guy right there sitting down adam He's pretty hard. Uh, I mean, not hard, but you kind of have to work a little bit harder on it. And then you could make a hundred orins. You can make a hundred orins on this. So you want to, if you want to make money, beat these side quests, the the mini game side quests in the wherever wherever you are. Once you beat the last person, usually do arm wrestling. Once you beat the last person, they're going to be offering you. A lot more money so you could go back to them I've already done this like maybe five or six times um, you could go back to them and they'll still offer you that amount of money so you always want to go back to the same person the last person that you that you that you uh, went up against now it's gonna be a little bit harder but um, if you know how to do it you could have a good chance of winning now arm wrestling I showed you guys how to do it uh, you pretty much have to ride that little bar that slides. Um, if the little circle starts getting off the little bar, you have to like push either left or right to stay on it. Woo! See that? Um, but you have to do light taps. Oh man, come on. Come on. Come on, yeah, yeah! Oh no, he's gonna win! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> but yeah, you just have to stay on that little slider, and um, I'm gonna make this money back. I'm not gonna talk, cause if I talk, I get lost. Whoa, let's do this. There we go. 
So yeah, you just have to ride that little bar and just press left best. and right on either the joystick, the left joystick, or the right, or the right joystick, and you'll stay on it, but lightly, because if you do it harder, if you, like, press hard on it, um, you're going to lose. I'm gonna go outside to Roach's camp, show you some fist fighting. Oh, when it comes to enhancements, I just re thought right now, uh, when it comes to enhancements, the whetstone is a sword enhancement, but it's timed. It's not a permanent. See, it lasts 20 minutes, I think. 20 minutes, so don't think that it's a permanent one. It's, uh, it'll always say if it's, if it's not permanent on there, it'll say duration, blah, blah, blah. So if you want to use, if you're, if you're like, I want to increase my damage for my sword, use, and you want to use the whetstone, use the whetstone, um, before you fight something. Don't, don't use it, like, way before, like, over here, and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna enhance my sword. Use it, like, before you're gonna go fight, so you have it for a good, a good amount of time. And it doesn't, the whetstone doesn't fill one of those little circle, one of those permanent enhancement circles for the for the sword those are usually those are pretty much just uh reserved for runes and you always want to uh get swords that have slots for for runes um and put them there and before i go into fist fighting i always take off Geralt's armor just because it looks cooler that way it looks like he's really going into a fist fight match if you leave his armor on it looks kind of like you know, I don't know, it's just like, oh, come on. So you, I always want to go, like, you know, just seem kind of real and just feel like I'm getting prepared. Um, and then it just looks cooler to, to me, so off? let's do this. Why not? Who's willing? Oh, and someone asked me about that tattoo that Geralt has on his neck. He doesn't have it when you start. It's a funny it's a funny quest in Flotsam. Um it's with the blue stripes, so yeah, it's called Hungover. It's a hilarious little side quest. Uh they just put it in there for some laughs, so so yeah, you guys should do that quest. Um it's it's called Hungover. Let's see what my friend Vernon taught you. Make some room. <laughs> I really like the fist fighting um, mini game. It's one of my favorite because you really get to see some like cool moves that that Geralt has. <laughs> sometimes they 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 it'll just be one, and then sometimes they'll they'll co uh, combine some like Y and B or A and X. I'll let him hit me right now, as you can see. Oh, he slapped him. He's like. Whoop. <laughs> oh, that was nice. I don't think I've ever seen that one. That was nice. Ha! He's still young. He'll learn. That was cool. Uh, so yeah, that was fist fighting. Um, that's pretty much it, I think. That's all I wanted to show you guys. I hope that wasn't too hard to understand. I know this game can get kind of confusing if you don't really... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> there are some funny guys here. Browse and choose. <laughs> Browse and choose. <laughs> I don't know why I love like this guy. <laughs> there's, there's so many funny people here. Anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I will talk to you guys later.